What's going on guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. Guys, we are back on another Iguana removal job. Check it out where we're at, guys. We are at a pump station inside. We have special access to be hunting in this pump station. You guys can see it's usually always exclusively fenced off, but today we are gonna be doing a job helping the city officials remove some of these iguanas. As you guys can see, iguanas are everywhere. They're basking, they're making this place their home. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dang, I wasn't expecting that. Dude, he ran right into it and just jumped straight off. That was sick. All right, all right. First you going, I'm glad that I was able to put it through the fence right here. It's probably the only way I would have been able to get a handle on him. There he goes. Slippery little salmon right here. Let's go inside the pump station on the other side and see if we can get some more of these iguanas. I guess we're gonna go inside here? Okay. For all those that wondered what a water pump looks like, this is what it looks like in here. It's pretty cool. All right. Oh, there's one right there. Got him. Got him. Oh, got him. Oh! Holy smokes. What the heck? Bro, this iguana is a female. She has eggs, but look at this right here. Check this out. She has a she has a BB wound. Oh damn. You see that? Yeah. Somebody's been shooting these iguanas out here. There's a lot dead across the street. A lot dead? Yeah, it's floating in the canal dead. Really? Yeah. Dang, okay. We gotta, gotta be kids out here shooting them. Kids out here shooting them. Yeah, because this one didn't fight. She just kind of was just like, okay. And then look at that. That by me catching her agitated her wound a little bit. That's insane. Alright, let's bag this one. Yeah, there's a lot of these these guys out here that just, you know what I'm saying? Like to just shoot them. And just leave them dead. They don't care. It's like so wasteful, you know? So wasteful. Guys, look at this rock structure right here. This structure is massive. And it's housing a lot of iguanas you guys can see the iguanas are probably on here basking for sun and then they probably have nests in the crevices where they go if they feel scared we're gonna go and sneak up and see if we can grab some of the top breeders get them situated the good thing is if any of them jump in the water they're gonna go to this side right there we'll be able to creep rack around and see if we can get a handle on them flip it up Flip it up. This looks like a female that possibly laid. Yep. Super skinny female. Still has got a lot of energy. Now that she's a lot lighter, instead of having all those eggs on her, she's gonna definitely show out a little bit. Got another one. Like I said, the females have been laying the eggs. As you guys can see, she's got the stretch marks all over her stomach. And she is very skinny and narrow. It's crazy the amount of lay eggs these things can lay. Oh my God, the male, the baby alpha came out of his nest right there. Now he's going back in. But then we have the, oh my goodness. They're all over there by that fence. So we're in a weird situation right now. The alpha female's over there, the baby alpha's there. Let's see if we can get the baby alpha since we kind of spooked these guys already. It's about to be a cold front tomorrow, so today's probably the last good day for us to be out here and do this. And we're doing all this in spite of the pandemic but we are practicing social distancing i advise you guys do the same let's go ahead resnare this let's get back on another iguana got the iguana man in action he caught four folks with ease There goes the alpha male, I think. Yep, this is the one that we were trying to get. He evaded us, but we got him, ha! He got him. Oh yeah, he's just a baby alpha male. He's got a lot of growing up to do. A lot of growing up to do. You see this guy? Check this out, dude. 
He's got a lot of growing up to do. He's just a baby. But yo, give him a couple years. This thing's gonna be one of those big orange ones in a couple years. Yeah, yeah he's just he's just learning the ropes right now. You can see he's starting to turn orange already. See his belly? He's starting to turn orange. He's starting to turn orange. So he's just learning the ropes. But you could tell by the, the shape of his head that he's gonna be a big boy. He's just learning a thing or two from those alphas. There's a lot of reports of the iguanas digging and nesting all along this building and all along these rocks. And uh, this is a, a very important area because this controls the water levels when we get a lot of rain from hurricanes. So if we got iguanas messing this place up, I mean, we all gotta pay for it. The taxpayers gotta pay for it. It's gonna cost time in construction. Obviously, uh, you know, it, it could fail if we need it. There, go, there, there goes the gang of them right there. Holy smokes. Look at this whole gang of iguanas. Oh, one just cleared it. One just committed. It's okay. We're gonna try to go for that egg laying female. Cause she, oh my God. She is like 50 iguanas in one. The other one was a male. That other one laid her eggs. This is the female right here. This is the egg layer. She's looking around. This is the egg layer right here. This is, this is the one we want. There she is. There she is. Oh, oh. Just committed into the water. Oh, she's not done. Let's flip her up. Let's flip her up. Let's flip her up. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. She's got bullet holes in her. Dang. Wow, that's crazy. And the other one's right there. We're gonna come back for him. But look at this, guys. We got the egg-laying female, but she has bullet wounds. She has two of them right there. Somebody's been shooting at her. That is insane. These things are strong. Think, imagine that, guys, getting shot in the stomach two, three times and still being able to survive and thrive. Those are probably small wounds. They probably didn't hit any of her internals. Her, They probably didn't hit any of her important internals. But, I mean, she's still able to freaking survive and thrive out here absolutely insane even though she's wounded she's not mortally wounded she's still out here thriving but we got her in the bag don't get no little stupid daisy bb gun or anything like that get a real gun that's gonna really just take them out you know what i'm saying humanely oh my god no no it's okay bro look there's another nest over there you see them all holy crap holy crap dude look at this holy smokes fish oh he's oh that thing's a giant whoa look at them all just walking in a single file line to the other side absolutely insane yeah they're perfectly protected over there there's no way i can go on there it's so crazy to see these prehistoric reptiles walk in a single file line like they're in school that is absolutely insane and guys they're gonna go back over there obviously there's a nest they're completely protected from anybody. They probably burrowed underneath the fence and look, they're even on top of the fence. There's barbed wire on there and it doesn't matter. They're still on top there. Guys, they have completely taken over this whole entire area. We're gonna have to probably come back out here with the real air rifle, show these iguanas the business, but as, oh my God, come on, sweetheart. Don't get stuck on the barbed wire. That's insane, guys, but. You guys are seeing them all right there walking in a single file line. Maybe we could scare them out, but it's gonna be too risky for me to go do it by myself because yeah. We might set some traps, we might bring some friends. You're just gonna have to stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Got a bag full of these iguanas. Watch your lip. What's happening, guys? What's got Lorenzo, we got David, and we are out here. Uh, they just invited me. We're doing a little fishing at one of their favorite spots. Uh, I just went to go get like something to drink, <laughs> and apparently I just missed something really awesome. Why don't you go ahead and show us, dude, what happened, bro? Okay, so so we got some live shiners, and Lorenzo literally oh. just caught this snook right here, guys. Oh my goodness! So that just happened. Wow really cool fishing like tell me a little bit about some stuff that you guys be catching man yeah so we live on a freshwater canal and we do a lot of 
we catch live bait and we put it out in our backyard. So we catch all kinds of stuff, anywhere from bass, peacocks, snakeheads, snook, tarpon, pickerel, big, big, big old catfish. What else do we get? Catfish. We got like a 20 pound catfish, uh, bowfin. And that's Dude Perdick over there. Oh. Don't, don't forget Dude Perdick. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Bro, we love family. We love fun. We love fishing. We love fishing. And, you know, we just, we just, we love people. Wait. So. You guys also have a YouTube channel as well, right? We do. We do. Guys, they have a YouTube channel as well. What's the YouTube channel called? Watch your lip. Watch your lip, baby. Look at that. Come on now. Hey. Right there, baby. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to get me one of those hats. That's you like that? Sick. We can wait. Yeah. We can, Raj, I'll get you one, man. Hey, we'll take care of that. Appreciate that. Man. Yeah, watch your lip from swordfish to snakeheads, baby. And guys, everything everything in between. Guys, go ahead, check out Watch Your Lip. We're gonna put the link right here. Bam. And we're also gonna put it in the description, guys. Check it out. Well, now that I got my drink, it's time to go see if we could yeah, let's get on a fish. Let's, yeah, 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 let's get on one. We got our shiner going, and we're just gonna go up in here. And uh, doesn't that look like a Snickers bar to you, baby? Hey, hey should have watched your lip, kid. Hey, <laughs> kind of good, I guys. Honestly, I didn't even know Shiners got that big. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. And here's the thing with these snookfish, apparently they like to eat really big baits. They don't like little baits. They don't like little minnows. You gotta throw something big out there. Oh. So, all right, guys, we'll be back. No idea, bro. Yeah, what's open. in this There's now? Only one spillway between here and the ocean. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. Got you, man. Oh my gosh. Lorenzo's got easy, nice and easy, son. It's a huge snook. All right, just nice and easy, buddy. Nice and easy. You got to finesse him, buddy. Right, Sophie, you might want to reel yours in too. Just, just, ni just you got to let him nice and easy, buddy boy. There's a four inch. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up. Yeah. Lorenzo's landing his own fish. Spillway snuck. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go! How does that feel? Awesome! Hold him up, buddy. Hold him up over your head, man. How does that feel? Awesome! Gosh, that's awesome. Sophia, what do you think, girl? So worth catching bait today. Oh, Lorenzo caught bait all day today, and it is worth it because he just nailed his nice snook. <laughs>